Hello everyone, welcome to the 10th part of my Gary's My Lewis Horror series. Today we are going to be going over health bars. Um, and so, previously, in the previous part, we set up a rectangle that draws in the center of our screen like this. But, that's not really usually how you would draw your head, so we're going to make this a little bit more... Make, make a little bit more sense. So, I'm going to keep the variables that I've created above, which reference the screen width and screen height, and I'm just going to start over. So. First thing I need to do, I want to make a little health bar that is in the bottom of my screen, kind of down here-ish. So to do that, what I want to do is I'm going to want to create a width for it. So I'm going to say local box W, um, and we're going to set that to SR width times 0.1, and then we're going to create another variable called local box height equals SR height times, and then we'll say 2%. So right now what I'm doing is I'm creating a variable called box width, which is going to have the value of our screen width times 0.1, so it's going to return 10% of the screen width. Then we're going to create a variable called box height, which is going to have the value of the screen height times 0 0.02, which is going to return 2% uh, of the screen height. So it's going to be somewhat of a long um, or, or wide rectangle and kind of not as tall. So I don't really know how to describe that, but yeah, surface dot set draw color. So we're going to go ahead and set the color to a black that is transparent. Then we're going to do surface dot draw rect, and we're going to set it at zero zero, and then box width box height. So boom, there's my rectangle at the top. Now I have the width and the height set up correctly, but now I just want to get it in the center of the width or the x position. So I'm going to take that screen width, I'm going to divide it by two, then I'm going to subtract by half of the box width. Then I'm going to take that screen height, divide it by two. Actually, huh. no, I'm not going to do it. I don't want it dead center in on, on the y axis. I'm going to do SDR height times 0.8. Or SDR height minus the box height times 1.1. Boom. So Basically, you can see it now, it's down there at the bottom. What I did there was, okay, so to center it in the X position, we take the screen width and we divide it by two. So now we have a little marker that is right here, but we need to offset it by half of the box's width because it draws out to the right and it's not drawing out to the left and right. So to make it draw correctly uh, while drawing to the right, we just subtract by half of the width so we get that centered part. Now. For this, what I did was I took the screen height, so I just set it to the total screen height. So it's all the way at the bottom of our screen. Now I'm going to subtract by the box height. So that's if I just subtract by the box height, you can see it's perfectly aligned or almost perfectly aligned at the bottom of my screen. But I wanted to kind of offset it a little bit based on the box current height. So that's why I multiplied it by 1.1. So it's going to take 10% of the box's height and also pull it up and move it up by that amount. So there we go. We have our base little rectangle. Next part, what we're gonna do is we are going to basically just copy and paste this. So we're gonna draw another rectangle on top of this. Go ahead and save it. You see now it's just an even darker rectangle. Um, we wanna make this a health bar, so we're gonna go ahead and make it a red color. Also make it transparent. You see, now there's our little health bar. Um, it's all the way full. And no matter what our health is, is if I go ahead and set my health to 100, see it's still that. Set my health to 50, it's still how it is. Nothing's changing. So how do we make it change? Well, first thing we want to do is we're going to create a reference to the player. So um, in the client realm, excuse me, you can reference the player by saying local player. So I'm just going to store the player as POI so I don't have to retype local player every single time. It's just a little bit easier for me. Then I'm going to get the player's health. So I'm going to say uh, local HP equals POI health. Then I'm going to get the max HP, and I'm going to set that to POI get max health. Okay. So we have those variables. Now we're going to put them to work. So this is our width right here. We want to multiply this by a fraction that is returned based on the max health and the health. So how we do that is we're going to multiply this by... We're going to take the current health, which is the HP, and then we're going to divide it by the max HP. All right. So we're going to go ahead and save that. Now you can see my health is at 50, and the bar is 50% full. If I set this to uh, 25, it's now 25% full. Set this to 100. 
it's all the way full. So that works, but why does that work? So the reason why that works is imagine you have a value which is um, 100. Let's say our width is 100. Then we're gonna multiply this by um, typically 100 divided by 100. So this represents our HP, this represents our max health, this represents our width. So you can see width, HP, max health. So if our HP is 100 and we divide that by 100, 100 goes into 100 how many times? Well, one time. So we know we take 100 times one. Hey, that's just, we're not increasing it, we're not decreasing it, the width is remaining the same. But if we have 50 and then we divide that by 100, um, that will give us 0.5. And then if we take 100 and then we multiply that by 0.5, we're going to get half of it. Or if we have 25 and we divide by 100, we're now getting 0.25. So if we t multiply 100 times 0.25, we are now getting 25 or 25% 25 of the width. So that's how that little ratio works. And this can actually apply for an armor bar. You would just replace this with, for example, POI armor and then the maximum armor that they have. So we're gonna go ahead, save that, return to normal, and then boom, we have a health bar. So hopefully that made sense. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, comment them down below. As always, like and subscribe, guys. And the next part, we're going to get further into this HUD and maybe get into text. So hope you can see you guys around. Take care.